In this video, we are going to demonstrate the ease in which you can grade garments using various grading tools. First, in order to define the sizes, we go to Size and select Size Edit. You can create your own size list by loading an existing list and adding to or deleting from it. Here we're going to add extra small and extra large to this list. You can change the base size by selecting a size and clicking on the Set Base Size button. Now let's start grading the front and back yokes. We select the grading points with the Shift key down and use the grading panel arrow buttons to grade by 1 fourth of an inch. Each click adds to the amount by the increment shown between the arrow buttons. Clicking on the increment button changes the increment value. We continue grading using the grading panel arrow buttons. Within the same pattern, moving from grading point to grading point can be done by using the next or previous arrow buttons. You can also grade by typing the grading value and dragging around the grading points. Here we're going to adjust the grading value for extra large. First, select a grading point and type in a new X value for extra large. Then copy the grading value with Ctrl C and paste it to the other two grading points with Ctrl V. Next, copy the grading value of this side and paste it to the back side panel. Then flip the grading value with the control and left arrow keys. Now we're going to use this extracted next section to grade the front neckline and dart. First we grade the center front neck point, copy the grading value, and paste it onto the extracted next section. We repeat for the side neck point. Now with the intermediate grading tool, we select the next section and click on it to bring up the option window. We select the B1 option since this type of blending works well for the sharp curve of a neckline. Next, with the default tool, we copy the grading data from the extracted neck section and paste it to the dart sections. We repeat for the other two points. The intermediate grading tool can also be used to blend and grade multiple patterns together. Select the front armhole sections with the shift key down, click on it and select B1 for the armhole curve. We repeat for the back armhole sections. For the bottom hemlines that don't have a sharp curve, we select B3 to maintain the same curve shape for all sizes. Then with the default tool, we copy the grading data and paste it to the sides. Here the back yoke and the back pattern share the same Y grading value. With the Copy Grading Y tool, we right click on the endpoint and capture only the Y grading data. Then we drag around the grading points to paste the copied value. Now we select the grading points at the bottom hemlines and use the down arrow key to grade by 3 8 of an inch. Next, we select the sleeve cap grading points and grade them by 3 8 of an inch using the arrow keys. Then with the intermediate grading tool, we select the sleeve cap, click on it, and select B3. Now let's match the grading of the notches. Using the perimeter grading tool, we select a side panel armhole section and copy the grading value. Then we select the corresponding section on the sleeve cap, click on an endpoint, and choose the floating notch option. Now the notch interval matches for all sizes. Repeat for the other side. Now we select all the armhole sections and copy the grading value. Then we select the sleeve cap and choose the option that locks the endpoints. Notice that the adjustment happens to the middle of the sleeve cap since we locked the endpoints. Now let's grade the rest of the sleeve. We capture the X grading data, and since we want to transfer only half of the value, we type half, 
and drag around the sleeve hem grating point. Now we do the same for the other side. We want to grate the sleeve length at a half inch increment. The perimeter grating tool provides the DV quick step for this type of situation, where DV stands for distance vertical. We drag from the sleeve cap point to the sleeve hem. Enter an increment of half an inch and select the vertical grating direction. Then we capture the Y grating data and drag around the endpoints to paste the copied value. Now let's grade the ruffled cuff. With the perimeter grading tool, select the sleeve hem section and copy the grading value. Then we grade the matching section of the ruffled cuff. Do the same for the other side. We finish by pasting the same values to the bottom. Let's use the two-point ratio grading tool to grade these buttons. We click on the top and bottom grading points to designate the reference points. Then click each button to grade them proportionately. This concludes our video on grading a long blouse using various grading tools. As shown in this video, there are various methods you can use to grade garments depending on your needs.